Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? It's Mesa Fail, Table Sean, whatever Sean, back at it with some Destiny. So I'm going to go over the weekly reset, all the new activities to do within Destiny. And at the end, I'll cover all the armor stat rolls because they reset every week. If you're looking for the weapon rerolls, check out Cool Guy Destiny. I'll link his channel in the description. He's the PvP beast who goes over all the weapon stuff every week. Well, the Vault of Gloss is back, and I'll be streaming this 2 p.m. Eastern right here on YouTube. Templar and Atheon Challenge, I'm going to bed right after this, so I'm assuming when I wake up, the challenges will be figured out. Mm, I'm cool with that. All right, so for the Challenge of Elders, we have Precision Kill Bonus, Solar Burn, Trickle, you get a Legendary Engram, and for your first three runs, you get 10 Legendary Marks. Now, the Nightfall is a Nexus, the Nexus Strike, and we have Arc Burn and Specialist. So go in there with high powered Arc Snipers, be good to go. Epic, heavily shielded, and highly aggressive enemies. Period graded numbers. We got Juggler, no ammo drops for your equipped weapon, so keep swapping weapons. Ironclad, more enemies have shields, so now everyone wants to go do the Nightfall because you get the blue flames around your head, and then you also get, um, you get, like, rep boosters for everything you do within Destiny. Alright, what do we got? Ooh, we got Solar Burn this week. I was hoping for Small Arms, but that's cool. Alright, we got Heroic, Solar Burn, oh, you know what, Solar, I can use my Abyss Defiant Adept. You know, I, I've really not used it at all. I've just been so glued to Necrochasm. But got the Abyss to find. I got every single Crota weapon, basically. Yeah, I got everything. Swordbreak is not on my character because I don't like it. All right, let's look here. What do we got? No, that's the Nightfall. Let's go back to the Siva Crisis. What do we got? So we got Heroic, Solar, Brawler, and Chaff. So Chaff is your radar is disabled. Yeah, and Brawler, your melee damage is greatly increased, which is good because I need to get the melees done on all three of my characters. So part of my Age of Triumph book. Stories, what do we got for the week? We have, uh, well, actually, hold on. You get a Treasure of Ages, you get one for your first strike, and you get 10 legendary marks for your first three strikes. All right, this week, uh, you get Treasure of Ages you for your first weekly story uh, playlist, whatever you want. Weekly story playlist, God, I need to use a script, but no, I'm never going to. Weekly story playlist, you have Heroic, Solar Burn, and Catapult. Throw lots of grenades. You get one Treasure of Ages, legendary marks 20, and you get five uh, per story. So what do we got? This is Mars and Venus, right? So it can be any story mission that involves Mars and Venus. Mm, can't talk. All right, what do we got here? For Crucible, and yes, I came up with that word in 2014. All right, we have Zone Control. We've got Clash, Rift, Elimination, Skirmish is back, and Rumble Supremacy. Where's Rift? Oh, there you go. <laughs> I just said Rift. God, I need to go to sleep. Rather matches. All right, I'm going to put the weekly Shaxx bounties on screen right now as to what they are. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Let's go over to the Iron Temple, check out Shiro 4's bounties, as well as the artifacts, and then I'll go over all the stat rolls. All right, so checking with Shiro 4, and real quick, guys, in your Age of Triumph record book, there is a uh, complete gold tier public events. You can just go to Archon's Forge, and I believe it's 20. All those count as gold tier. You don't have to wait around for public events. Uh, I tried Court of Oryx. I thought Court of Oryx would have been an easier way, but no, Court of Oryx does not count. Sure, for each one of these is 500 Vanguard reps, so make sure you do these if you want some Vanguard rep. Complete public events at Plague Lands. You got to do five to go to Archon's Forge. Uh, Dreg Encounters, Captain Encounters, and Shank Encounters in Archon's Forge. All right, so let's go see Tyra and check out her artifacts. Before we do, I've got Destiny Item Manager pulled up. Now, I looked at Tyra's artifacts, and as usual, she never sells any good rolls here. So, I'm just going to read off what Destiny Item Manager is telling me right now. Let's see. So, for the Titan, don't see anything good from Titan Vanguard. Sorry. Hunter Vanguard. All right, Hunter Vanguard's got a ghost shell at 100% stat roll. 99% uh, gloves for the Hunter. 96% uh, class item. To move on to the Warlock Vanguard, absolutely nothing trash. Uh, just a 97% chest piece, 96% helmet. Let's move on down to Varrocks. Absolutely dog shit. Yeah, nothing. Everything's 88% to 90%. Uh, Future Boar Cult. Let's see, what do you got here? A uh, pair of boots for the Hunter at 97%. Uh, Warlock Bond at 98%. Nothing for armor except a Titan chest piece. At 90s, no, I'm sorry, that's a hunter chest piece. 96% stat roll. Ghost shells are terrible. Uh, this is dead orbit. He's got a 98% glove. I don't know why I love doing this is dead orbit. These dark creatures are making scouting impossible. All right, move on, Sean. Now, uh, dead orbit for the hunter. 98% rolled gloves and a 96% class item. And dead orbit's got a 100% stat roll ghost shell. Uh, New monarchy's got a 100% stat roll titan. Uh, Sash, Titan Towel, uh, nothing else, 99% Helmet, actually 99% Stat Roll Helmet for the Borlock, Crucible Handler, what do you got, 98% Stat Roll Boots for the Hunter, 98% Gloves for the Titan, 
nothing really good there. What about the speaker? You got anything good speaker? Let me see. Speaker, speaker, speaker. Speaker. Nope. Everything's 90. It's got a Warlock Bond for 96%. Everything else, yeah, that's trash. All right, Tyra's Artifacts, where are you? I'm scrolling up again here. You guys can't see where I scroll, but here we go. All right, let's go check her out. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, we got 75% for... I'm going to skip that. Skip you. All right, so Memory of Perun, 75% stat roll. This one, Enemy Guardians with full supers, all enemies. Oh, God, I can't talk at... What is it, 5, 12 a.m.? Enemy Guardians with full supers and all enemies with low health are highlighted. So this one, 75% stat roll. We got the memory of Temi. <laughs> Melee attacks and minor minions of the darkness have a chance to temporarily turn the target against its allies. That's a 87% uh, stat roll. And the memory of Felwinter. You lose your super, but gain one extra grenade and melee charge and a small boost to all stats. Orbs grant melee and grenade energy. That's a whopping 339% stat roll. Well, it's because you lose your super. So, anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. And uh, for the hashtag, hashtag, made it to the end. Guys, I don't know what happened this past week. Since Age of Triumph and Destiny 2, I cannot believe how many new subscribers we have. It's redonkulous. You guys are amazing. The Mesa Army is growing fast, guys. I kind of set a goal for myself. I want to hit 200,000 subs by the end of the year. And if the way things are going with me covering Destiny 2 and the news and everything, as well as Age of Triumph and streaming on YouTube, I think we can do it, guys. You know, listen, I never asked to, for... If you guys to share or like or anything, but apparently you guys are liking and sharing them, so I really, really appreciate it, guys. So with that, we gotta do the uh, the usual outro. Do me a favor, drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at Mesa. Sh Look at that, I love that Wrath of Machine armor. Look at it, it looks so good with the ornaments on it. Look at that. Oh, that looks good. Although it looks like his chest is being. Oh, you know what I put on? Hold on. I got Chatter White tonight actually on, um, so that when we do the Vault of Gloss, we can kind of commemorate it. But I don't know. Does that look cool? I don't know. What do you think? All right. Babble Modes Engage. Do me a favor. Drop a like this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. Usually and always on YouTube. And that is it. I'm out of here like Vladimir. Whoa. I got to clean this out. By the way, I think Saladin's Vigil is going to be the bomb when it comes to one-banging those oracles. Uh, we went into Vault of Glass tonight just real quick to kind of fart around. And I got a couple of Saladin's Vigils here. Uh, where's the one I have on me? Do I have it on this character? Let me check it out. Which one? This one here, it's got Range Finder, Hammer Forged, and Snapshot. These two here. I know I've shown these to you guys before. <laughs> what do you guys? Perfect Balance. Check some on anything for range and a little bit more impact. Alright. I think that one was better, actually. What about this one here? Perfect Balance. Brace Frame, Accelerated Coils. No, I think I'm just going to keep the one that's on me to bang those oracles out. Alright, guys. Love you. See ya.